Hello, this is here, and welcome to an extra long episode of the Preston North End Crate Mode. Here we have the second round of the Championship Playoffs. Lose this game, all our hard work in this season has gone to pot. In the other game, it's 1 0 Newcastle's favour. And in our game, we are currently 2 1 down. I'm not sure if the away goals count, but. Let's just hope we can get a comfortable win over Norwich. A former Premier League team. Hopefully this team that I'll put out can do what it's done for most of the season. Put in a good performance and get three points. Norwich are a very good side though. And Will Grigg put us off. The best start we could have thought of. Reducing the deficit to zero. If it stays like this, we'll have gone to pens. Extra time. Not really what I wanted. So he's going to push on for a second goal. But Will Greg scoring a very important goal. And look at this from Callum Robinson. You get a better angle and a replay. On the replay, this is a goal of the season contender. John Ruddy in goal. I think he's John Ruddy, or it's Michael McGovern. I think he might be ready. Just had a new chance for that one. And Carl Dahl had no chance for this one. Of all people, Russell Martin levels up the scores. Putting, them, putting us only 2 1 up. And then, look who it is. I just can't believe they've just got two absolute worldies to make them in the lead again. Callum Robinson has shown them putting them back in their place with a top bin shot. Just cannot be more in that corner. Defenders just closing down, it wasn't tight enough and he just shot top corner. John Rodin goal, no chance. But defensive filters again and Russell Martin scores his second goal of the game. To make it 3 3 in the night and 5 4 on aggregate. Very good games and very good seasons, but unfortunately, Norwich have come up trumps and will face either Newcastle or Wolves in the Championship playoff final. Unfortunately, that does mean we'll be staying in the Championship next season and not get them promoted. But next season, we will come stronger. We will get a higher promotion spot and maybe even automatic promotion and if we put in good performance for longer periods and swear at our defensive frailties maybe we can even get the championship title but anyway we've still got the rest of the season to sim and disappointing but clinical from them it will be Newcastle that goes through them. Wolves put up a good fight, but I think it was 5-2 in the end. Or that might be the final result. Shame for Wolves. But... Might the 3rd and 4th go up. No, 5th and 6th. Stay in the league. It's a shame now. Really wanted to get promoted to the Premier League just one of the main ambitions when you start a career mode it's just so annoying to not get promoted and then the Bristol Rovers won we did League 1 and League 2 later when it was a dream and then we finished mid table it was just so disappointing and then when I eventually got into the Premier League I got sacked because I went through the playoffs it was just such a shame also a shame for Blackburn and Barnsley and Burton who will be not joining us the next year because they'll be relegated to League One. Here for Cup, Manchester United won 4-0 over West Ham. And there is the one I really, really, really wanted to be in. Won the European International Cup friendly. 3-2 win. I think I sent that. Somehow Tottenham are in the Champions League final. Sassuolo beat Atletico Madrid. Ugh, it's just stupid. 
Absolutely mm, stupid. Top scorers, Will Greek was second in the end. Johnson was ninth. And there literally wasn't that many other players with him. Johnson got a promotion assists. And Brown and McGeady were quite high with the um, assists. And Carl Barlow didn't do too bad with clean sheets. Seems we have a couple of defensive frailties. And I think he only joined us in January. So, not too bad of a signing. Yellow cards and red cards weren't really part of them. Not really part of my game. And Jimmy couldn't even get top scorer. It's a shame for whoever Fabrini plays for. So going through the squad, Carl Darlow, Jake, Max Thomas, I'll probably keep. Jake Keenan, I'm not sure about. With a mile, Bennett, Wright, I'll probably keep as well. Tom Clark, I'll probably get rid of soon. Tonsington, probably the same as well, get rid of him. Tommy Spur, decent left back, but I think we can do better. Max Watson, youngster, and Paul Hunting. Ben Davies is probably going to sell. Toby Green, I'm not sure because he's not promising anymore. John Welsh, I'm definitely going to sell him. Ian McGeady, I'll go back to Everton. Humphrey, I reckon I'll have a decent few games. Brown, probably play a couple games. Johnson, probably our player of the season. Wilson, probably get a couple games next season. Ben Pearson. Adam Robinson, probably going to sell him eventually. Same with Grimshaw. Paul Gallagher probably going to sell him as well if he doesn't retire first. Cam Robinson probably one of the surprises of the season. C couple of youngsters, you more. Ben Pringle kind of expected more of him. So he did get injured. Harvey Davis and Will Grigg hope to see more goals from them next season. Beckford kind of lit it up early. You may kind of expect more from him. Mackinac scored a couple of goals late, but not enough for me to make his loan deal permanent. So, let's get to the end of the season then. No more games left, so it shouldn't take too long. Just friendlies and a couple of random emails at the board want to check at me. Uh, that was the problem with um, the end of the season. Daniel Johnson, he wanted to, just, wanted to leave. Trying my best to hold on to him, but when you got a player... Premier League quality, maybe not of experience Premier League quality, but he could walk into most Premier League sides, maybe not most, he could probably walk into a couple Premier League sides, and we're pegging him back, so I reckon if we do keep him back for one more year, we will be have to get in the Premier League, or we will have to move on, a couple youngsters, very good, Pan Robinson, probably the player of the season, was wanting some more wages. I know wages is one of our expectations, but when you're trying to do what I'm trying to do, it's quite hard to bring in the decent amount of players. Well, not bringing in the wage budget out too much, and they wanted to reduce the wage budget. And saying plays is a lot harder than I thought it would be. More training here, a couple of like borderline youngsters. I think a couple make their debuts. Toby Green always has. I think Thomas will play more prospective roles towards the end of next season. Maybe he'll overtake Darlow in ratings. I like Darlow though. Does make a couple questionable decisions and Thomas being so young, you might need to sit on the bench for a couple more games. Maybe get him a bit high rated in game. More match experience. After all, match experience is what makes a player become so good. No more training again. This Wilson guy, the centre mid, on training. 
uh, the far right is 94 potential I think so expect a lot from him in the next couple of years maybe not next season or next season might get a couple of games this season and then we move into the Prem we might have to loan him out depends how good he does but I'm expecting big things on him and the thing with Toby Green that CDM were training he was promising but no he's not anymore but being 18 with I think it was a good high 80s potential we can't really send him on loan as it won't grow as much as the rest of them so I think I might sell him or keep him on a bench player or just train him kind of undecided at the moment but I think the place at the club him being a first team player probably not the greatest players to be there maybe if he grows a couple more why is this taking so long? I suppose he usually does. Look at this couple of news. One for future Victor Nelson. Probably never going to sign him ever. Kind of like to sign players that have a game face. Oh, this is really taking forever. Is it nearly done yet? Hey. No one expired. I was imagining that would be McGeady. End of scene review. I didn't achieve all the rejections. I believe overall it's satisfaction performance and projects us to be in best next year. So now I can wear the best man for the job. So I've quickened up this a bit. Just to make sure we're not sitting there for ages. This video is already quite long. We could have cut out that last bit. But, I suppose when you're going to make a video this long, you're going to make a couple of errors. And, I suppose, nobody's perfect. Let's get in to the next season. It was quite good, so Shrek. So then, back into training. Starting him off again, Max Thomas. Give him hard one-on-one -on -one goalkeeping. Most beneficial, I feel. Left back, Max Watson. I give him some hard one on two defending. For a left back, he hasn't got the best defending stats. Centre backs. I was thinking on doing one of these. But, oh. If he's not in the first team, not even in the squad, it's not the best. Wilson, we're going to train him quite a lot. 5'10", centre midfielder, promising player, so it wouldn't be too bad. And I think it was, I think it was Harvey Davis, yeah. So I really want him to be, when Will Green retires, I want him to already be in the Fire nine battling. He's not too far off his overall. I'm sure with a good couple of training, maybe his finishing could do as well. I think I played him at Cam for a couple games, maybe in sim games, maybe put on the bench, maybe up front. And this is our chance of shortlist. You can pause if you want to have a deeper look. A lot of Premier League players on that list. 3.4 million and 30k wage budget. In the Premier League, that would be easy. 15 million. That a doubt it would be more than three and a half million. That's just absolutely stupid. What can you sign with three and a half million? I suppose you're gonna have to make the most of it though. What's the problem with the championship and the league that's under Premier League? You just get no money to do what you want to do. Even you know, like transfer he's he's like three and a half four million. That's like our wage budget. No, that's our, like our transfer budget. Just in one pre season. And with all the it's like Harry Maguire. 
There's Harrison, uh, removing. Going for Fauna, a very good centre mid. And she just couldn't do a career mode without signing Adiak in February. Not too bad of a pre contract signing. Fauna's a bit too far out there. And that's going to go for a left back. Kind of went for Robertson. And they realised we've got three and a half mil. We're not going to sign him. So they went for someone else. Let's have a look around. So I went for Lyndon Gooch. Quite a good player. He's, I think he played last night for the Sunderland under 23s against the Man United ones. I think he might have scored as well. So not too shabby for him. Jason Punch is another one of them players. I probably won't get signed this year, but I did make these transfer targets should we have been in the Prem. So Andrew Robertson would have been, been a bit more affordable. Maybe Linda Gooch wouldn't have been such a high profile signing, if you say that. But we're kind of missing a cam. I don't think we actually have one. I suppose Harvey Davies can play cam. We've, play, we've been playing. Um, who was it? I keep forgetting his name. Daniel Johnson, that's it. We're playing him cam. But he's looking for the move. Lifted up some players for load. Do more for loan. Okay, still for loan. We just got some youngsters we're just not going to use. I think Thomas, I removed him because I'm going to have him on the bench as a keeper. I think I put Green on as well. Cox as well. There's so many left mids, right mids that you're just not going to use. And then Robinson transfer list. Ben Davies transfer list. I thought when I started this, Ben Davies would be quite a good player, but he's just not that good for me. I think I transfer King. I think I was going to play him a lot more, but I suppose. Okay, that's good. This is like 75 over 26, and we picked him up for free. I know we did have to pay 10,000 more than we wanted to. But, outrageous, but Welsh and Beckford are on retirement at contract end, but I think Welsh has gone to Ipswich. Well, I've seen that just make it right. And it's up to for lending each. I went 1.8. I put 1.5. Kind of meet him in the middle. See how good Sunderland are feeling. Did you make back three ways to play in the friend wing? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Don't know if I even put him in. And... It was it Daniel Johnson? I need to give her. Gonna give him ten. Might as well give him what he wants. He's a very good player for the side. Even though his rating doesn't really reflect it, he's probably the best player in our side. I think Will Grigg is our best player in the side, rated wise. I just think we signed him for like the same price as Lyndon Gooch. So Lyndon Gooch would be one of the players. One of the highest players in the squad. Over me, Green, Pearson, and Brown maybe wouldn't get so much game time, but I've got to rotate them. Daniel Johnson, after offering him a new contract, Mr. Penn, and then they scored normally, and they gave us a 1 0 win against New Mancia. What you want in friendly is a good side and win. So I think we're crazy when you get past the first season is loads really slow. Transfer for Will Grigg, absolutely no chance. Second top score in the championship, top score for us, not going anywhere. And John Ralph agreed terms with it switch and we'll be going there. Transfer for Daniel Johnson, for Leeds, as a main only fan. Not going to let him go there, but 
such a big player for the club, so I rejected all offers and rejected future offers. JP for Linda Gooch. No, El Gucci. No pun intended. The problem with um, Premier League players, they're on a lot of money. 21 years old, 15k a week. I think that's third highest in the club if he does sign that. Maybe second. I think Linda got up with it a lot. As well. I don't think he refuses to negotiate. But if we don't let him leave, he supposedly can't go anywhere. As long as the board don't sell him. I've had a couple of problems on Korea Road with the board just selling players really nearly. Palomo, very good side. Mackinac went Mackinac's from there, really. Trust us to play him. You watch your score now. I remember the score. Rubsy score, woohoo. Oh yeah, Mackinac scored. Take on. He would score though, wouldn't he? Against his old side. Would you say learn his old side? I suppose you would. One or draw is not too bad to Palermo. They are quite good side. Training more. Do love a little bit of training. That's what you need to turn at least. Decent youngsters. Into very pay. Just saying that my whole training list is regen players. Beckford wants some more game time, but unfortunately, mate, you haven't got the stamina to be first team player. I suppose you can play in front of Harvey Davis or alongside him in the second team, but as you know from last year, no play a handful of games. Lyndon Gooch, our first signing of the second season, should be a very good player. I've been doing a Sunderland career. And he's been very good for us. Another one of these players I wanted is a right wing to replace. Um, who was it? Eden McGeady from last year. He quite a fair Garzy, but as you'll see, it's way too expensive. But I wish I was going to go after Antonio in any game. But another one of these players I've been looking at. Oh, I'll decide to go in the championship first and see who's dropped down. I think it's Hull, um, Hull, Burnley and Hull, Burnley and someone else. So it looks in the Premier League. Yeah, Newcastle did win that game against Wolves in the final. Good for them. Look at Brady. Yo Campbell as well. Cause did look at Ainsley, Maitland Niles and Jesse Lingard. I did look at Matt Ritchie as well. I was gonna sign him. But in the end I did find someone. Duncan Watmore. Just think about Wilfred Zaha for a little bit and then I realise I've got like 2 million chance of that I'm not going to sign Zaha. Look at the right wings as well. Not really anyone to note down. Looks around a bit but League One, not really anyone there. It will be in my price range at affordable and Improvements my side. Of course, I want to make it young as well. <laughs> Still locked around this time. Bundesliga. So it's gonna Bree maybe. Didn't really see anyone. Oh, float, it's not that. Kind of there now. Those players. It's far as I know. It used to be a CDN. There's a right mid. It's probably a very attacking right mid. To be honest. That's the thing, centre backs, right backs seem to be very attacking nowadays. I think of Paddy McNair, he was 
So about right back. I think like what's to be um wait um deep line playmaker. So almost like put these forward passes. Maybe even have a couple of strikes on go. I think he did have a part in the under 21s for my night last week in their the entire win. But. Oh. Yeah, about the yawning. It's quite late nowadays. So, not nowadays, like. Oh, like 2016 is like the late for everyone. I suppose I just need to plan ahead in videos, to be honest. A semi final against Darmstadt next for the friendlies. Hugh Moore, one of the youngsters, probably one of our best youngster left mids, going online to Shrewsbury. I think they're in League One. Might be in League Two nowadays. I just need to stop saying nowadays. Might have got relegated, might have got promoted. It might even be in the pro championship, to be honest, but I don't really think they have the side. No disrespect, disrespect to them, but they go into a tough league, and I don't think they've got quite enough. And speaking of quite enough, we lost four free and pens. Second one. We kind of don't really want to go in the pre season, but. I suppose we need to get more money, but with this 2.2 million, maybe get 4 million like that. So I could another player, so. Could have wanted to go, I suppose, but it's not the end of the world if you don't. Well, uh, Michael Keane, 6 million from Stoke accepted. We just can't buy against these Premier League clubs. Look at that. Real Madrid side, you have Martinez for 26 million. I think I haven't spent 26 million in. I think in the Bristol Rovers one, I think I spent 29, I think my record transfer was 2 million, I think. And we've almost broken that already in here. So players when he just got promoted, and we did both a lot off of youth. And we did sign Andres Barreira first season, and it was an absolute bargain. And such a good player. Why even say on here eventually? Couple more players looking at eventually winning. And put transfer bid. I was gonna put in they put in for one for Matt Ritchie, but just under five million, I'm not really gonna get him. I probably would have got him. Well there might have been a slight chance of got him, but Duncan Watmore, he's not a bad player. We could grow to be a little bit better than Matt Ritchie. But Duncan Watmore's still a very good player. And just look at that. I'm like Joel Campbell, and I'm just not going to sign him, to be honest. 11 million. And I'm just going to have to remove a couple of these players. I'm not going to sign them this season. Maybe leave Matt Ritchie on there. Big fan of Robbie Brady. Oh, girls, he maybe not. Dwight Gale, if we get the Premier League, say so Dwight Gale. Officially survivor for us. We're Greek. Dwight Gale. Gooch. And Daniel Johnson. Just imagine that. Imagine we should get some decent wingers as well. Cam Robinson and then maybe even Mikel Antonio on the right. So imagine how good that would be. Suppose if we want to get them Premier League players, we're going to have to get into their league. Unfortunately, we've got a long season ahead of us. And a lot of games. So, winning every single one of them will be at the top of our priority. Let's hope we can get maybe even some silverware from the division. Automatic promotion is a key. Nothing less. Their promotion spot will be acceptable for the end of the season. Not too long now into the first game, transfer offer for Paul Gallagher. I don't want to sell these players, but I don't want to be ripped off by him. So I still want a decent amount of money for him. Offer his value, 
to offer his value, but to be honest, I wouldn't pay that close to a million for a player. The class of a Geiger. Don't come what more on the other hand. Offered him exactly what he wanted. That's the problem with all these Premier players. We've just signed two, I think it's 19 and 20 year olds, and we just spent 40k on wages. And I think the rest of our squad comes up to about 60. So, no, it's probably not 60, it's about 80. So, we've probably spent like half of our wage budget. Um, man, poor guy, 800k, just accept that. Not gonna play him, not gonna use him. I'd pay, I wouldn't pay 800k for him. So, Birmingham can have him with chalk and cheese. And then, on the day of the first game of the season, <laughs> Duncan Watmore decline. Give him a new contract. And hopefully, he looks at this on a crucial first team player this time. And a couple of youngsters, except. But that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a bit.